Well, the bees sure like the uh, flowers on the summer sweet, the clethra, and there's a reason, because these things, if we had smell-o-vision, Angelo, the fragrance coming out of these bushes right now. It's absolutely fantastic. You know what's really sad about this plant, Mark? Way under you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most people have no clue that it exists. Um, you know, one of the reasons, because usually it blooms a little bit later in the spring and early summer. I mean, this is but a great midsummer plant for a, flower and, and, and fragrance. Hummingbird go absolutely nuts over this. It does attract honeybees and butterflies. Extremely ex butterflies. This is my favorite fragrant. variety down here. This is this is 16, 16 candles. candles. This is a, it's a dwarf variety, but extremely fragrant. Now look at some of these beautiful pink varieties back here. Look how beautiful the color is on those. And the fragrance is just incredible. And they make a decent hedge or a single planting. They're actually a good foundation plant. The, the edge plant is great. But one of the things on these, Mark, you really have to make sure that you prune them well so that they really fell out and they don't become, you know, too tall or straggly. Straggly. Yeah. You know, you want to make sure that you really get down to the wood and just let them reflush and they bloom absolutely beautiful. Clothra, a great midsummer shrub for anybody's landscape. Thanks, Angel. Thanks, Mark.